Hi, here I'm going to show you how to upload a dataset into a database using BigQuery Sandbox application. This is a free account you may need to create on Google. BigQuery Sandbox is a free account. Once you sign up, you're going to create your first project, which is here I have my first project, Red Girder. So to upload a data set into the database, go to your first project on the left side of the dashboard here and click the three dots next to the first project, right? Click on the three dots. All right, you have two options, create data set, refresh content. I pick the first one, create data set, click on it. Now on the right side, you have a box that you're gonna enter information. So I'm going to give the name or I'm going to give a, an ID for my data set. So I will say sample data set. Just I give an ID, you know. All right. Next you pick. I just pick a multi-region because this is a standard. All right. Then you're going to click create data set. So before we create the table, we need to create a data set. That's, that's what we are doing here right now. Click on create data set. All right. That way it's the database identifies the data sets ID. All right now click on the, the first project and you're going to see the data sets. I just right now created sample data set. That's the ID. All right, that's the ID for the data sets. Now next, my next job is to upload the table or the data set into the, uh, database. All right, first I created the data sets ID. Then I'm going to upload the, the table or data set. All right, right click on the three dots next to the sample data set ID. Right now, pick the create table here. Create table under source option. Click the down arrow. So I'm going to upload the table or the data set from my computer. So click upload. Then next, you click as a browser. Browse. We're going to click on the browse again. All right. I have grocery sample one. This is the one I'm going to upload. All right. Now make sure you pick CSV format. The other thing before when you save your Excel, make sure you save it under CSV format. All right. Now we're going to give name for the table. So because it's a grocery list, I'm going to enter grocery list, All right? Under schema, I'm going to click auto detect. All right, so that the data set can be automatically detected. All right, eventually click on create table, the blue box down here all right now i already upload my data set or table as you see here on the left side grocery list data set is already entered into the, the database all right click on it and you're gonna see the information of the data set on the right side Go ahead and click on preview to see the detail information here. See, once you click preview, you're going to see the row one all the way. I believe it's 14, 13. Yeah. And the items are here, apple, cabbage, and all the way down. You can see the list of the items. Then the store name where I bought those items, the type. 
and quantity and unit unit price and a total price for each item so the table is already created in the database using google query sandbox right thank you for watching